Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to learn more about the Phaser program. We've developed a series of short educational videos about Phaser and pharmacogenomics, or PGX testing, at the VA. We invite you to view one or more of them to inform the use and application of PGX testing. In this video, we'll guide you through a Phaser PGX test report to familiarize you with its format, content, and how the information may be used to help your patient. PGX results are intended to supplement, not replace, medical decision-making associated with prescribing. PGX provides additional variables for consideration as part of the bigger clinical picture. When your patient's test results are ready for viewing in Vista Imaging, you will be notified. The cover page of the report will appear like the image you see here, with your patient's name and their identifiers listed at the top of the page near the Sanford Health logo in the left-hand corner. Within the section titled Basic Pharmacogenomics Panel is a summary of the sections of the PGX report. Potentially Impacted Medications displays a table that summarizes how your patient may respond to medications that are affected by the genes tested as part of this panel. The report summary table is organized by medication category of use and further categorized by group of similar medications within the column titled Drug Class. The potential drug-to-gene interactions specified by medication are categorized into one of two groups using a stoplight system. Green indicates standard precautions for a medication, meaning there are no drug-gene interactions for the medicines listed in that column. However, medicines listed within the yellow column should be clinically evaluated to determine whether a potential drug-gene interaction is clinically relevant for your patient. The next most relevant section of the report to your practice is the section of the report labeled Drug Dosing Guidance, where you'll find additional details about the predicted response to a medication and any recommended actions to take. It's important to note that these recommendations are only based upon PGX results and do not consider other important variables such as age, organ function, disease, and other medications. In this section, only medicines identified as having a drug gene interaction that may result in reduced efficacy or increased toxicity are listed. Thus, those medications that were listed in the green standard precautions column within the potentially impacted medications table are not found in this section. Drug gene interactions are listed by the severity of the interaction, with those predicted to be most severe listed first and marked with a red and circled X symbol. Drug gene interactions that are predicted to be less severe are represented by a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark symbol. This section of the report lists the name of the medicine, and adjacent to the drug name, you'll find a statement summarizing the predicted function of the protein underlying the drug gene interaction. This interpretation uses the expected protein function of a gene called the predicted phenotype. For example, this individual was found to have increased clomipramine exposure based on their predicted CYP2D6 phenotype. The gene and its associated predicted phenotype are indicated in parentheses and separated by a colon within the statement. Next, you'll see whether the drug gene interaction may result in increased risk of toxicity or reduced efficacy. At the end of the statement, you will find what may be done to mitigate risk. For example, alternative medications or dose modification. You may have noticed the test details and methodology section of the report. The first table in this section provides a complete overview of the patient's PGX test results by gene as its diplotype or genotype and the associated predicted phenotype. This summary also includes documentation by gene of which specific alleles were analyzed as part of the panel. Under the test details header, the test results are organized by gene, genotype, phenotype, and alleles tested. The genes listed under the first column are all the genes that are included in the test panel. Under the genotype, the patient's test results for each gene are listed as a diplotype or genotype, depending on the gene. Star nomenclature is used for diplotypes as a result of star 1 indicates that no variant alleles were detected for that gene. The remaining star designations refer to specific allele variants that were detected in that patient. The collection of variants for two alleles refers to the patient's genotype. As mentioned earlier, the phenotype is the laboratory interpretation of the PGX result and provides a description of the impact of the genotype on the protein function or enzyme activity. The alleles tested column lists those alleles that were assayed. 
Thank you for your time and attention throughout this video. We hope you found this information to be of value to you and your clinic. Should you have any questions and or feedback about this video or the phaser program in general, please refer to our website or contact your local site champion.